how would you respond to a friend who have this two theories? The first one is Jesus can be AI, just come from the future and so have the very like high level intelligence. And the second theory is he's just a very charismatic leader, cult leader who has like who is able to manipulate like simple mind. And so anyone could be inspired to create a new religion, new community or new country. Yeah, again, when somebody says something, it's not your job to refute what they say. I would say, what evidence do you have for those two positions, for those two theories? But if you love them and you want them to come to your side. Oh, of course, but they're going to begin to realize they don't have any evidence. I mean, you can say anything. Like, I, I could say right now that this, in, that right now we're in the matrix. I can't disprove that, neither can you. Why? Because in order to know you're in the matrix, you'd have to get outside the matrix. Like I was saying before, you'd have to get outside to see, oh, we're just in a matrix. It's sort of like having a dream. How do you know you're having a dream? After you get the more than knowledge of waking up. You know, when you wake up, you go, Phew, that was just a dream, right? You got to get outside the dream to know this is just a dream. So you've got to have some evidence in order to say that this particular assertion is true. If they're going to say that Jesus has come from the future, and uh, whatever that theory you know, was the there, there's no evidence for that. No, I can't disprove it, but they can't prove it either. So I would say I just see no reason to believe that. Why do you see a reason to believe it? You can come up with a thousand different maybes or a thousand different possibilities, but remember, possibilities are not evidence. Possibilities are possibilities. So that's how I would, I would just say, are you going are, are to run your life on evidence or are you going to run your life on speculation? Thank you. All right, thank you. By the way, notice that people um, don't run the rest of their life on speculation. They get evidence, right? They get evidence that... The, that um, if they're sick, that they go to a doctor who they think is competent, right? If they want to invest their money, they go to a financial advisor they think is competent. When they go fly in a plane, they want to make sure that the pilots are trained, right? It's not all speculative. There's evidence. Why is it when it comes to the greatest question of all, does God exist? And if he does, what does he want us to do? People go, oh, that's just your opinion.